Bop. Testing. Okay. <clears throat> yes, I did that with food in my mouth. Shut up. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Mm, so I made my tweet very relatable and it's blowing up. Um, anyways, I'm gonna post my self-promo here. I'm gonna have to talk to them about that later. Okay. Mm. I might have to mute it. Uh, yeah, okay. So. mic is not on yet. That's cool. Sorry, I just feel like I'm missing something. Um... Anyways, so, Frostpunk. Um, yeah, I am not going to be doing Final Fantasy 14 until Square gets off its bullshit about NFTs. So, and I've also already cancelled my subscription, so I can log into the game until, like, the 12th or 13th of this month, but then that's it. I'm not giving them any of my money while they are on that NFT money laundering environment destroying bullshit. So, we're not doing that. Um, instead, we're gonna do Frostpunk, and I don't actually know what I want to do in this game. Oh, but first, I gotta do Obey Me, sorry, one second. Oh. And I love the music in this game, so I'm not turning it off. If that gets me, uh, flagged or whatever, I'll, like, delist the bot or something, I don't care. The music's just dope, and to not have it would take away from so much of the- Oh! One second, I'm getting a call from Satan. You can't see that, but... <laughs> Here. One second. Will you stay with me now and forever from Satan? From Kitty Boy? He's too cute.
That might have made my day. Um, I'm just gonna quickly burn through some AP and then I'll up this down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> totally trying to do a different stream here. Um, yeah, okay, I don't want the sale. I don't spend money on this game as a rule because fuck the devs. Um, but I have a lot of resources and I still try hard with this game very much. And I still really love the characters and the voice actors are great. I love them as people. I love their work. I follow practically all of them on Twitter. Um, okay, now I can put this down for a few hours. Sure about that. Wait. Did I see that right? Oh, okay, it's minus seven outside. I was gonna be like, there's snow on the ground. How the fuck is it seven degrees? Anyways. <laughs> Just not, none of that was anything that I wanted to do on the stream, but there we are. Here we are. I'm also definitely gonna be eating this burger. And I'm not gonna apologize for it. We roam the still, cold world. No horizon in sight. The rulers of old, stripped of pride and glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us, no matter wealth or class. We lost our world to snow, and with it, our last traces of humanity. to plenty, and for those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope pushed us forward, slowly, step by step. We knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. Hi, Farmer Leo. Thank you for that uh, redeem. Um, I don't actually have any subs, so it feels a little silly, but I appreciate you and I love that you're here. And thank you for joining me today. Um, this is Frostpunk. So this is a survival-based game. It's very interesting where it has like, well, first it's based off of like, it's like steampunk. Um, and it's set in sort of like Victorian era England. Uh, so it's kind of like Victorian edgy bullshit. Um, Edgy bullshit. What is that word? <laughs> uh, anyways. Um, my, my captions don't know how to interpret the word edgy. Anyway. Um, and it's unique in the sense that, like, you have a steam generator, basically. Well, it's built over a geothermal vent, but it's a giant steam generator, and you have to build things in a round circle around it, as opposed to, like, a grid-based system. 
it's like a round, it's like a circular grid based system. Because you're building, you want to build as close to the heat source as possible, right? Because that's survival in this, in this game, in this setting. Um, and uh, it's, I just really like this game. Like some of, some of the themes in it, I'm not oh, like perfectly comfortable with, obviously. Um, but it's important to be able to criticize media you engage in, so. <laughs> um, yeah, and I don't know, it's really fun for me, um, because it's challenging in a specific way that I like, where it's like resource management, but it's also dealing with the elements. And something that this game does that other survival games or that this game doesn't do that other survival games seem to do too much is that it's not PvP. You are not fighting enemies. You are not competing for resources. Um, you are just trying to survive the scenario, which is brutal. So, um, and that's something that I think I want to see more of in games is that, um, is that focus on the actual survival of the individual or of the group as opposed to survival of the group opposed to another group or another entity or zombies or monsters or whatever um so yeah so that's what i like about this game um this game i've beaten it handily <laughs> i it i struggled with the last autumn scenario which is a dlc scenario that you can buy uh because like i wasn't used to like building the generator and having to to do all the people managing because like there's a union and all, all sorts of things that happen in that scenario spoilers sorry um but um frostpunk 2 has been announced and i do have it on my wish list and i do want to see it at some point soon or at some point and i'm not going to pressure the devs to get, release it soon uh they can release it when it's perfect but yeah i just i just really enjoy this this theme um, it's, and, like, the theme of surviving the cold as well appeals to me as, like, uh, Canadian, I guess, <laughs> because I did grow up in Ottawa, and I did have, uh, minus 40 winters and things like that. I have lived in ice storms, multiples, and, um, I haven't really been, admittedly, I haven't really been in a position where the power has gone out for, like, a length of time that was actually dangerous, um, because of where I lived um in the city but like the power would go up frequently because we were at the end of the city that didn't have a hospital um so that was something that we'd have to like sort of address um but it was never out for more than a few hours people like an hour away from me out in the country would have it out for days which is scary but um but then you have to like you know disaster plan for that um get your generators get your food supplies into your fridge blah 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 um, yeah, I don't know. So, like, I th this the, the theme of surviving the extreme cold appeals to me, I guess, because I'm a Canadian, because I've had those, those heavy winters before and things like that. Um, and just, like, um, there's also an aspect of the cold that I've read about where if you are in that, uh, a situation where it's just cold all the time, it does things to your mental health and your psyche that are like really damaging and you have to sort of like stop and address that um things like that so like it's 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 very edgy this game it's very edgy oh now you know what edgy is okay all right um and uh so just be warned and there's probably gonna be people who die and there's gonna be some shitty situations we'll have to deal with um but yeah, this is what you start with. You start with the generator and a supply thing that you can't ever actually remove. And a bunch of people who need homes. So we have 80 people. 65 of them are workers. So 50 workers, 15 engineers, 15 children. Um, so first thing we need to do actually is we need to get materials so that we can actually build in their homes. So, what I like to do is just drop down a gathering post, get a road out to it. Everything also has to connect to the generator. Um, the roads double as sort of like your steam pipes as well underneath them. 
Um, so everything has to have a road connected to it, otherwise it, it doesn't work. Um, you ha uh, that's the only way to get power and things going. Heat is kind of power, because it's steam generators, right? So... And we also really desperately need to get this coal picked up, because um, coal is what powers the generators. Come on. There we go. So I build this because it gives them some warmth while they gather the supplies. If they gather the supplies without it, they're, uh, the temperature is chilly and they have a, a higher risk of falling ill. But if they're at the gathering post, then they have the uh, livable and building insulation. And it's a much lower risk. Now. There's like no other resources in range, eh? Just like one A or B, basically. So they'll go over and build it, but they can't actually work at it until there's a road to it. Come on. Are you kidding me right now? I'm sorry, but... So that's one of the shitty things I have to do. Hi, Valky! How are you? I'm good! Um, so what I just did there was I went and pa I passed a law that says I can now do 24-hour shifts. And then I immediately enabled the 24-hour shift on this one, so that they can continue gathering materials. Because I didn't get enough to build houses today. And if I don't have houses, then they don't have shelter from the cold. It's minus 20 out. They're all kind of flagged as in the livable zone, but that's not accurate because they don't have a home, a roof over their heads. So, we have to force them to work. so that they can have shelter. And they're gonna complain at me about it. Yes, I know the heating is off. That's because we have no coal. Uh, okay, so we're probably gonna have to force these guys to work too. Go get some coal. Yeah, I know, I know. Remember, usually not the best, and you don't have to greet everything they ask for. Yeah, okay, thanks, bye. Um, that's deteriorizing me. Nope. Oh, see, this is the tutorial right here. I can't, I should probably just turn this off at some point. You can always see the heat map uh, when you click on this, and you can see now this whole zone is livable, and the tents are now comfortable. And one of our people died because we didn't get it on fast enough. I'm- oh, because, uh... Yeah, okay, I need to get a cemetery going already. Uh, we must make sacrifices, I'm sorry! This first day is always like this. Hi to Mark. Who was it? It was just a it was a worker. Okay. Okay, and then once I get uh, this tent built, they will stop complaining for a little bit.
There we go. Okay, so... I actually want to see the... Okay, that'll be fine. Ideally, we would have had enough materials to have tents the first day, but they take they took too long to actually build the gathering post. Um, and I had to build another gathering post with the materials once that was done immediately so that we could actually get coal to actually turn the generator on because nothing was like next to each other. So yeah. Hi! Why, thank you. Another thing I really should get on very quickly is a medical post because we have five people who are sick and we need food. Yeah. So one thing I'm actually going to do, because I don't like the way the roads are, are set up right already, is I'm going to build that, uh, which is going to take a little bit of wood, but that's okay because now we are in the daylight shift hours. We're going to delete that. Yay, finally. Nice. I need to do groceries. I am out of damn near everything. Um, the issue with me, though, is that I have to go at a certain time of day because I buy these little cartons of milk um, and they, they tend to run out pretty immediately. Um, so they don't stock them first thing in the morning, so I do have to go later in the morning. But if I go at night, it's too late and they're all gone. Okay, so we are going to build a cemetery. See, here's like the edgy shit. So you could do child labor if you really want to. I don't. Um, you can do corpse disposal, which they will be a little bit unhappy about, but I like to do cemetery. Um, maybe I'll wait on it a little bit. I know they're unhappy because there's an unburied corpse. So now that we have a medical post, these patients will get to be treated, and that will prevent them from getting seriously ill. Um, which... I'm just giving everybody a tutorial on this game today. Yeah, not now. We're not- we're not dealing with that right now, thank you. We are going to build more houses. Oh, frig. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, I am eating my burger still. Okay, so there are nine people who are still unhoused. Um, which I will have to deal with. And I still haven't actually built my tech, because I'm trying to get everything else sorted first. Or a cookhouse. We don't have enough wood for anything. We're just going to fast forward to the next shift. The temperature's going to drop two levels? Oh my god. Okay. Do 
We have no research to defend against that right now. Work time. Get back to work. Okay, and people are going to be starving soon because it's been a couple of days and they haven't eaten anything. Um, I'm going to do a care house because that will give Listen, some home an option to uh, people who are sick to stay in and recover and they also eat reduced rations. Boom. See, they're hungry. Okay, I need to get that food going. Um, okay, so... Now, here's another thing. It's just me being particular, but... Um, I know from experience playing this game that the generator goes out to, like, four rings, basically. So this is, this is the first ring here. And then, um, I'll use a different blueprint to demonstrate this. Um, so I could do, uh, ring two of houses. Three, four, and then past here I like to start building all of my structures uh, because that is outside of the main zones um, and then try to keep the housing in the middle because it saves a lot of energy not having to build steam hubs which is a thing I can upgrade to once I actually have technology um, because uh, steam hubs don't overlap so it's kind of pointless to stick them next to your generator if you have your generator at max range but um, they will allow you to create like pockets, like individual pockets, like next to their work or whatever, and you can toggle them to only be on for work. I'm kind of distracting from what the point I was trying to make, but anyways. Um, so I don't like to build through in the first four rings, so this would be like the limit of it here. Um, yeah, one, two, three. So I, I would probably start, I'd like to start building my structures about here. So, that said, yes, I can. <laughs> What's Frostpunk? I've been talking about that this whole time. Um, so it's like a survival game based in like, it's like a steampunk survival game based in like Victorian England, um, where the world is basically frozen over and they have to survive using these giant steam generators over geothermal vents or something. And, um, yeah, that's the whole object of the game is to survive, um, do all the challenges that they, that come up. There. Yeah, and I'm gonna make them do that now because the shift just ended, but we need food, so I forced them to work. Um, also, things I need is another house because there are still nine people homeless. This has no residents yet. Gravely ill in APTs. Okay. But the temperature's about to drop, so I'm about to have a lot more sick people. Another thing I need to do is build another gathering post somewhere to continue collecting materials. Yeah, it's definitely my kind of game. So it just went down to minus 40, so the heat map is different. Now everybody's home is cold. 
low risk of falling ill. This one is a moderate risk of falling ill because it's outside of the heat radius. And this is too cold to cook. That's great. Well, it's fine because there, there's no more raw food to make anyway. <laughs> uh, just get me some wood, please. Oh, I guess they are trying to work? No, they're not. And this one's about to... end. So, I need to get this tech going. Thank you. Just needed to wait an extra second for them to get enough wood to make the road. This gathering post is depleted, so let's get rid of that. Wait, really? That one too? That's a problem. Okay. Um, gathering post. Let's get another one going. I didn't put engineers in here. Okay, so we need, no, first thing we need is this, honestly. It's gonna take all my wood. I'm hoping that not too many people get sick because it's very, very cold. And I always, it always ends up that if it's, too cold for too long a lot of people get sick and it's really hard to get on top of that you know what i totally forgot to do i forgot to do a thing before streaming one second <laughs> come on let my windows key work please thank you uh there is a cloud service that i use that tends to run up my hard drive And I had to sneeze. Um, then I need to shut off because it just takes too many resources. It's not as bad now that I'm not on the bad hard drive for recording my VODs. Um, but it's still, I, I definitely noticed it in my bit rate just now. Um, what other junk is running? I don't know what that is. It can die. Uh, calculator can die. Epic Games Launcher can die. This isn't on Epic. I have this on Steam. I've only ever bought one actual game from Epic Game Store, and that was Borderlands 3 when it released because of the exclusivity bullshit. And then, of course, it later released on Steam, and I'm stuck with it. Um, yeah, that, that's good for now. Okay, sorry about that. Back to the game. <laughs> Thank you. I can introduce a new law. We are going to do the cemetery now to bury the one person that died. Hear me, hear me. New law Sounds like city. it's better now? Was it bad before? I was just assuming that it was, um, I did get the Tomb Raider games, yes. Just barely. I, I heard about it and then I promptly forgot about it immediately. Okay, so where am I going to put this cemetery? Sure. Oh, no wood again. Oh, yeah. I replaced my hard drive. 
um, I had a hard drive that was failing and I didn't realize how bad it was until after I replaced it, but it was, it was constantly getting like, um, well, I knew it was constantly getting bad sectors, but, um, I was hoping that it would kind of like repair itself and it didn't, it never did. Work time. Get back to there we go. Come on. There we go. And that reduces a lot of discontent. The woman came after her, built the workshop. Husband and daughter didn't reach the city. Wants to send to join the first scout team we send out. Okay, yeah, of course. Uh, so I actually need to research the scout teams first. <laughs> um, I also need to research uh, some resource gathering things because these piles of debris are going to run out and then I will be stuck. So I need to get some coal production and some uh, wood production and some steel production eventually, but that one's not as big of a concern uh, this early on. Are we still... Okay, everybody's still cold. I think maybe I need a second workshop. You know what else I need, too, is some actual food production. Let me just check something real quick. That's not available. Come on. Come on. There we go. One, two, three. Okay, we're fine. I'm very particular. Okay. And we can do funerals. That makes everybody happy. New law. A new law has passed. Okay, and now that we have this, we can do the generator power upgrade. Once we have 20 wood. Of course, we're not going to get even 20 wood. Okay. This is at 50% efficiency, two workers on the shift, one of two is... Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, so since I can't do anything else right now, I'm gonna do a sawmill. Okay. So tomorrow, when we get a little more wood, we're going to build a sawmill. Probably right up in here. Get rid of all these trees. Um, and then... Actually, we can't build it yet because we have to wait for it to be researched. Ugh, okay. So first we have to build hunter's huts. <laughs> Which means we need 20 wood. Yeah. So everything warmed up a little bit. 
Not fully, but a little bit. So people will be happier and less people will be getting sick. Come on, there we go. Food. I'm gonna stick this back here. Oh! So now that we've done that, um, let's get a hunter's gear going. Because we're gonna need it. <laughs> we currently have no food. Wait. I totally skipped over that. Uh, so people from our convoy build the beacon, rescue survivors of our lost expedition. Okay. I tend to do that with a lot of pop-ups in this game because I am just so accustomed to it. Oh, sawmill is done. So now we need 10 wood to make a sawmill. Oh no. Well, that'll work. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna promise the sick will be treated because I don't quite have uh, enough engineers to be doing doubling up on research and build another medical post. I mean, I should, but yeah. There we go. So now that we have uh, some good wood production, this will cut out all these trees. And you can see it has 750 resources it has access to in this radius. Uh, there's a little bit that's just outside of it, but that's fine. Um, I can always just... This is really cheap to build, so I usually just demolish it and rebuild it closer. I don't know why I'm really excited to play this game today. <laughs> I've talked about nothing but... I was playing it last night and I did the last mission on the campaign um, and I got a win that I was very satisfied with and it made me cry. That's another thing about this game too is like when you win the mission um, it's gonna make you cry. <laughs> it's just gonna happen you have to accept it. We're gonna do overcrowding and that will fulfill the healthcare promise. Yeah, my bitrate is like a thousand better now that I uh, closed my sync app. People are still getting sick though. Because it's too cold for, for tents. So I think the next thing we're going to research is the beacon. Beautiful. Uh, exploration beacon start. So we still don't have enough food for everybody. I may have to do soup. 
Because another thing too is the hunter huts take 15 workers to make 20 food. That's a lot of workers though when you start with 80. So yeah. Uh, because I have two workshops, this research will probably get done within the workday. And then I can build it. Oh, puppy. Do you hear her in the background? She's just curled up on the bed, rumbling every so often because she hears other dogs outside. Okay, so this is getting... This is finishing up. There's one more steel wreckage and one more coal pile. Um... Yeah. Well, another thing I need to do pretty soon is do this one. Okay, and now that I have access to this, what resources will that destroy? Don't be silly. There we go. It's probably talking about the wood here. But, oh yeah, okay. I guess I can see that. Yep, Nora's just vibing. Do you want to see her real quick? I have to hit escape to actually go uh, be able to move my character across screens. Did you see her? There she is! There she is, puppy. Hi, Nora. You're on stream. Are you sleepy? Yeah. She's giving me the tired eyes. Mark says hi. Okay, so I do need workers to come over here and build this, though. So. Okay, so people are coming to build it. Oops, there we go. People are hungry. We are going to feed them, not to worry. Just let me get this built so I can get some scouts to find food and people. There we go. We're no longer lost and blind. So this is basically a weather balloon. But it lets us see above the crater, and then it lets us see the, the world map. There. So there's the Lost Expedition, there's an observatory nearby as well, so. Uh, first things first, I'm gonna take some workers off of here. We have enough uh, wood and people now to create a scout, and we're gonna go to the Lost Expedition. Boop. Which will take, like, no time at all. Ten hours. It'll take time. It'll take no time at all as compared to other map waypoints that we'll probably be exploring in not too long. Okay. We needed a win. And then over here you can see my little scout and the time ticking down as, as they make it there. If you zoom out to the map, it pauses the game. So um, it doesn't actually progress while you're looking at that view. 
Unlike RimWorld. I'm also going to make another hunter's hut. And we'll put it there because why not? Because I think uh, getting this lost expedition and escorting ba it back to the city will give me more people. Um, in which case, I should probably have more tents. So we have another hunter's hut, but we don't have enough people to staff it yet. Like I said, I'm hoping that this expedition will bring more people. There they are, survivors. So we're looking at 36 people, okay. So we need to make four houses to accommodate all of them. They're also coming with some engineers, right? Ten. Beautiful. Okay. So we're gonna make another um, medical post. Okay. Uh, first. We need to research something. Power upgrade, that sounds good. We'll also need to build this coal pumper. trying to think. Sorry. Maybe over here. So, one, two, three. Maybe? Yeah, okay. Because then this will actually work 
for the coal pumper instead. That makes sense to me. So the coal thumper works by like, by pumping pressurized water into underground coal deposits. The coal thumper washes the precious resource to the surface, forming piles of up to 560 coal per standard workday and up for two gathering posts. So it's basically infinite coal, uh, but you have to have a gathering post nearby it to actually pick it up and collect it. Are you guys here yet? We need to build two more houses as well. Oh, here they are. All right, reunions. It's heartwarming to see families reunited after so many hardships, but shouldn't there be other settlements nearby? The first expeditions left London long ago. They ought to be well established by now. They'll surely help us find our footing. Yes. So now that we have more people, we can get more food. They found a trail leading into the Winterlandness. We should follow us. We must find other people and ask them for help to secure our survival. Yes. And our... Okay, so they want us to go here. We need more scouts so that we can do the other locations too, because each time you go to a location, there's a chance that you'll find resources. There's still a couple trees here, I guess. So we're gonna change to soup. People will complain about it, but it will stretch our food supply a little bit more. And that's pretty important right now, gotta say. Oh! My generator does not need to go up to level 2 right away, thank you. That spends a lot more coal than I'm prepared to spend. They're okay right now, they're livable. <laughs> We're okay. Um, we need to do... We will need heaters. Before too long. Apparently we were maxed on coal, which is great. It's a great situation to be in. I haven't built another medical post yet, so let's do that. There we go. And yeah, anything that is outside of the generator's range will get covered in snow. 
So you can always visibly tell when the generator is on or when it's on that circle. Uh, but of course you can always select it and see the range as well because everything highlighted in orange will be inside the heat range. And then this screen will also tell you all of the temperatures for all of the buildings. It's like a heat map. So yeah. Three people are starving, which is bad. But hopefully these guys will come with 40 food in the morning. The cookhouse will immediately set to cooking it. And then that should hopefully feed everybody. And we have five engineers that are not doing anything. Work time. Get back to work. Okay. So now that they've got the food, they are now making it into soup, which is giving an additional ration for every two raw food, which will help stretch the supplies, but people will be unhappy about it because it's soup, it's not full rations. Hoping that will feed everybody who's starving. Ooh, steam cores. Take resources. Uh, we're gonna send the scout back because they just picked up some food. So here we go. So steam core, 99 food, 221 wood. Nice. And then we'll send the scout back out again. Um. All right, now we need more scouts. Yep. Wood crates depleted. So now it's acting like it's only got coal. Yes, okay. Which is fine. Um, if the cookhouse is too cold, it actually can't work. So earlier, I got the heat, up the heater upgrade, so that I could turn the heater on at the cookhouse. And that's this little icon here. Um, so now. Uh, I can't address this right now because the, the temperature is about to drop again, so. Once the scout comes back with 99 rations, that'll feed everybody, and then we will clear that objective. Excuse me, why are you not taking out these trees that are in the way of my my buildings? Why are you doing this to me? I'm personally offended by that. Oh, why is one person starving? Okay. It's it's coming in like two seconds, and then everybody will be fed. There we go. Okay, so now they'll go back out. Uh, we'll go here. There. See? Everybody has food. Stop being starving. Stop being starving. Look at all the food. Look at all this food we have. Thank you. Thank you. There we go.
So it's at this point where I want to turn this up to steam level too. Because that will increase the heat of these homes to comfortable, which is like the highest. Uh, it completely prevents uh, falling ill. The only unfortunate part is the buildings just on the outside of that ring are not inside of that ring and they will not be subject to that state. Also, this is going to drop it down. So yeah, all these are going to be freezing soon and that's going to make more sick people. our consumption. Okay, we're good. Wrap up well. the frost is here. There, see? This is too cold to work. This is apparently not too- oh, because I already turned it on? That's why. So now that I've turned on another heater, okay. So I think we're okay. Okay, so now this gathering post's resources are depleted and no longer needs to exist. And that gives us more people, which when this finishes in like a second, boom. Now we can make more scouts. And now, we actually have a lot of resources. So, I'm gonna do the bunk houses. No, wait. Range upgrade, I think. That way it will stretch out to encompass the second ring as well. Which will take a lot more coal, and I need to um, be aware of that. Um, so there's the generator has this nice little consumption tab. It's telling me I'm using way too much coal because it's red. Um, oh, nice, right? Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's very helpful. There's a whole economy here, actually. So you can hit the economy. You can see. What you're using to get coal. And right now it's just a gathering post. Wood, steel, food. Um, so we're coming up a little bit short. We have 100 people and we're only making like 100 rations a day. Yeah, 110. Uh, health status tells me how many patients each one has. It's a max of 10, but they don't like having more than five. Uh, because that's overcrowding. That's one of the laws that I passed. Uh, and then there's also housing. So it can tell you how many vacant beds you actually have. Oh, there's 20 in care houses. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. That might be an issue. No, there isn't. <laughs> Are you sure? Oh, maybe it's telling me that there are 20 beds in the care houses, adding to the total amount of beds we have. But everybody is housed. Everybody should be housed. So, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build a second gathering post here. Because this, when it's fully staffed, makes enough for two uh, gathering posts to be able to collect it. So yeah. And I think we're going to need the production.
So now I'm going to get the steam hub just to have it. Um, this automatically stretches itself out to range 2. So that means that everybody is now in livable or comfortable conditions. This can be turned off. There we go. Yeah, can you guys pick up this wood, please? <laughs> Another thing I can do is I can make a charcoal kiln, which turns wood into coal, basically. Which I think would be a good idea right now. Time to rest, folks. Works out. Yeah, we're still using too much coal. We have a lot, though, so because we have a stockpile of almost 800, we'll be okay. You know what? I'm going to rearrange these roads a little bit. Just because um, the game will sort of fill in the space sometimes when you are, when you make roads like this just off the center. Um, and that affects how many of something you can put in a ring. So this is probably okay, actually. But... I prefer to just have, to just not deal with it. So I have one road here, so everything's kind of like arranging itself around that. And then this one kind of just sort of happened by accident. Yeah, so we'll build this road and then we will tear this one out. Why are you like this? Finish building the road, please. Thank you. Alright. Survivors! So, we are looking at 39, 43? Yeah, because you see, it, like, if there is no road there to begin with, and they don't fit to the space. Makes me kind of want to delete this road and start over. I have a lot of wood, so that's what we're going to do. That's fine. I like to do a second ring of road. Nope. I'm saw. There we go. Um, and then we'll just rebuild these tents over here. Or maybe it's fine. It's not going to matter, actually.
It's whatever. Okay. Yeah, it's saying I have a day left of the steam. Because we're not getting enough coal. We're going to send it to the city. So we got an automaton. There we go. And then we will go to the weather station. Um, the bridge to Winter Home. Why was the bridge deserted? Why wasn't the automaton under the care of an engineer? Yeah, we'll find out in Winter Home. So Winter Home is actually another scenario that you have to do. Um... This one is New Home. I think this kind of takes place after everything. Uh, but Winter Home is another one you can do. Sweet. So now, I want you to go check out the Gloomy Cave. Okay. How is our production versus consumption? Still not great. Get to work. I was wondering if that would update. Yeah, okay, so it updated, so we're still at a shortfall. Um, but I mean, I guess it's okay. Another thing I want to do is build the child shelters. I just don't know where to put them yet. Maybe like up here. I don't want to put them next to the cemetery because that seems shitty. But also because um, the cemetery, if you put heat next to the cemetery, which I may have to do for, to keep the child shelters warm and functioning, um, it will thaw out the bodies. You don't want to do that. Okay, so everyone, right now everyone is in livable. You are still not gathering this little piece of stuff right there. So I'm going to destroy it. Okay, so now I actually want to do the steelworks because I'm going to have the automaton do all of the mining. Ooh, nice. Steak fajitas. I've said that. Is it pronounced fajitas or is it fajitas? Because it's a J.
I'm wondering if that's, like, been an anglicized word that I've been appropriating my whole life now. <laughs> Did I just totally mess that up, calling it fajitas? Or is it fajitas? It seems like it should actually be fajitas, right? Even my captioner is like, yeah, that's fajitas. <laughs> Please correct me. I want to learn. Maybe I'll have the automaton on here for a little bit. Okay. Well, actually, Steelworks is in pretty important. Oh my god, I don't care. It's gonna destroy trees. It's fine. Put down your tools. The J is pronounced as an H because it's a Spanish word, so it's pronounced fajitas. Thank you. Thank you to Mark for clarifying that for me. Um, growing up, my parents always called it fajitas because it's... No. I, I, I'm pronouncing it with like a G sound. Uh, but growing up, my parents always called it fajitas. So, I blame them. <laughs> we've, we've, there's so many, like, there are a lot of words that have just been anglicized to shit. Um, that have just had the anglicized pronunciation applied to it. That I've had to, like, go back and relearn and correct. And I guess that's one of them. So it's fajitas. I will try and say fajitas from now on. I'm pretty sure I've even heard friends say it with a G sound. White friends. Yeah. Okay. It's something that I've definitely run into when trying to learn Japanese. Uh, is that a lot of words that they... Like, whenever I, I read, like, a word that is obvi obviously supposed to be pronounced in Japanese now, I, like, I, I, I read it, like, the anglicized way first, like, with the anglicized pronunciation, and then I have to go back and correct myself mentally before I actually say it. Um, so, it's just one of my internal struggles. One of many. <laughs> I never meet any disrespect. I'm just stupid sometimes. I am just a little silly in the brain. Just a little neurodivergent. Alright, so now we are looking at what happened to Winter Home. Uh, abandoned station. They're frightened that such an important facility was apparently abandoned. Someone started to wonder whether the evacuation from London was a good idea. A few are lamenting openly. I know we shouldn't have come. At least London had real houses, not tents and wooden shacks. We'll have answers soon enough. Relax. Relax, everybody. Relax. It's all good. It's all good. You can trust me. You can trust me to take care of you. You can absolutely trust me to take care of you. I'm telling you. And then we are going to... Boo, boo, boo. There we go. It's telling me 18 hours left, but I'm going to turn the temperature down once this drops. I'm not researching anything? What am I doing? What am I doing? There. Faster mining is good. Also, I made this. Don't know how I'm going to staff it. Why is this still taking a day? Come on. Alright, 
So I'm not going to staff that till the automaton gets here. That's another word that I um, pathetically anglicized. Um, or just a word that I've read a lot more times than I've actually heard spoken aloud. Um, so I used to read it automaton. Because, yeah. <gasps> Oh no! When is my last save? I can't get- I can't make this decision without... Fuck! Okay. So we still got the survivors, but we lost the scouts. That's a shame. That's a real shame. So how many people were there? There's gonna be less people that arrive because the, um... Man, oh, hang on. It is day 12. Can we cheese this? How to save new home day 12. Okay, let's try it. Let's try and cheese it. So what did we lose? Practically nothing but our scouts. Okay, cool. So I think these are the scouts that are going for the cave. So, once it get ticks down, we're gonna stop, and we're gonna save. New save file, sure. Done. Resume. Risk attacking the bears. Yes! See, that's how you do it. <laughs> I don't like it when people die. So how many we've got? Uh, so 29, 33? I'm gonna do three tenths and hope that's enough. Also, I'm going to build another ring of roads. And now that the temperature is going to increase 10 degrees, I'm going to bring this down and that will use less coal and then we'll be able to get ahead of it. Sure, why not? The engineers aren't doing anything else. There. Now everybody's still livable. Sorry about that. Just had to click away and do something real quick. Get to work. Move, people. There's plenty to do. That automaton's not going to be here for a little while.
Um, is that one hitting for the winter home location? It is. Okay. I don't remember how this scenario goes exactly, but I know how winter home goes. The fall of winter home. Uh, the streets of the ruined city are littered with scores of dead bodies. The city chronicle describes the shortage of food and citizens increasing despair. The following squabbles, riots and descent into anarchy, fights for dwindling resources and the eventual starvation. The last entry, God forgive us, we're eating our dead. There is no hope. The news has shocked everyone in the city. There were supposed to be many settlements and construction crews here. People living normal lives in homes heated by the generators, but we're alone. Hope falls. This place is a deadly trap. We need to get out of here. Don't panic. We aren't dead yet. We have to learn from their mistakes. We should have stayed in London. Surely it couldn't have fallen like this. We ne should never have left Britain. Yeah. So now... We have to give them purpose. And what this does is it allows us to do order and discipline or faith and spiritual strength. This white text on a light background is actually kind of hard to read. So I like to do the faith and spiritual strength because order and discipline, the top of that is like daily executions and I hate that. So we're gonna do faith. House of Prayer. Sign. Oops. Okay. So now that we've done that, we have a faith tab. And we can do churches. I'm not going to worry about that yet. Oh, you're waiting? Okay. Send an outpost he team here to build an outpost. And that will give us wood, but I don't really care about that, actually. If I'm being perfectly honest. Civil unrest and cannibalism. Yep. I seem to play a lot of games that involve cannibalism. I don't recommend it. Just, just to be absolutely clear. I do not recommend cannibalism, it's bad. You've convinced the majority, but hope is low. A group of our people are so, still so scared that they want to leave, flee the city for London in 15 days. They've come to try to change your mind. Uh, we're not going to die. You're gonna be fine. Trust me, my people are divided. Some of them are so scared they plan to leave the city for London in 15 days. They'll try to convince others to join them, preying on their discontent. Fear may lead people to desperate acts. Maintain peace, give people hope, and manage their discontent to guide the city safely through the looming social crisis. So now, I have this little bar here. The number of people who want to return to London is 14. Uh, a lot. The tendency, there's like a tendency rating, and don't let Londoners disrupt the city. Okay. Um, we're gonna get a medical post upgrade going, master gathering researched, we're going to close that. Um, we are in the process of building two houses of prayer. Oh, and there's 21 homeless, but we have houses being built, so we're fine. We're okay. The nice thing with the, uh, the houses of prayer is that there's a little, little clickable thingy that lets you... 
yeah, have a sermon. And you can do it once every couple of days, and it just automatically, it just raises hope. That's all it does. Oh yes, we have more people. So let's get more uh, people gathering food. Oh wait, no. There we go. Well, let's get another person working here. Yay! Hope rises to a sermon. That automaton's not here yet. That thing is slow. More survivors! Escort them to the city! Absolutely we will. There's the automaton! Look at that! I don't know what it is about them, but I find them cute. Is that weird? So now that we have an automaton, boom. It will just independently manage my entire steel production. Using automatons! Our first automaton is operational. This will help our economy greatly. Automatons can replace entire, man entire manual labor crews. They work around the clock with short breaks to refuel the generator. We can research upgrades to raise their efficiency and capability. Oh. Something else I need to do actually is make a, re a resource stockpile. Resources, resource depot. I can't put it next to the stupid cemetery. Okay, we're gonna change where that road is going then. Just slightly. There we go. And it's a cemetery, so I don't think they need a road to it 24 seven. So they can wait till it's rebuilt. Especially since we've only had, like, one single person die. There we go. The Lunders have gained more followers. We just have little hope for our survival. Okay. I think I remember how this scenario ends. So we don't want people to leave the city because they will almost certainly die. And we do want to stockpile coal. There we go. So that gives us a higher maximum on coal. Um, yeah, so what is my... Where's my stockpile? There it is. So I can store 1800. Look at my little automaton just sitting on top of the uh, the steel works. Just making steel. Alright. Explore. Take resources. Go to the American camp. And you have survivors with you. 
Are outposts on my tech tree? Yes, outpost depot is. Actually, how much for that? 75 wood. Okay. How are we doing with that? Doing pretty good. Great. No, you know what? We're gonna... We have to... Get some more of this. And then we'll do bunkhouses. Okay, we're gonna make another sawmill somewhere. Cause I'm tired of not having wood. <laughs> Um, wall drill is going to be something we need eventually, but we don't need it yet. I'm going to do... It's nighttime. I'm going to sit on it a little bit. Maybe. Well, human meat isn't good for anyone, because it gives you prion disease. Okay, we're just gonna research something from this row here. Let's just do more resource, uh, a resource depot upgrade because that will give us, oh. People have started to visit the house of prayer. There aren't many of them yet, but it might start. Might be the start of something special.
So I'm almost at the point where I can pass another law. do evening prayers. Yes. Hear me, hear me. So it needs food rations to actually work. Honestly, these people don't know how good they've got it. <laughs> Why are you gaining followers? We're gonna get hope up, not to worry. Temporary settlement, go. Hey. Temporary settlement, go. You. You're back? Okay. So, go to here. Okay. So now we have the ability to build bunk houses, which will increase the base heating level to all of the um, houses if we upgrade them to it. Twelve wood, ten steel. We're going to do a, ser a sermon, and that's going to hopefully reduce the tendency and the number of people who want to return to London. There's other things we can do as well, like I think if I build a child shelter and give them the apprentices role, that will also increase hope. Okay, and the temperature is going to drop another degree, and it's going to do so for quite a while actually. So, can I fit another one here? I sure can. Beautiful. And now I actually have enough for that. There's probably going to be more survivors that we find, so I'm going to make another tent just to fill in this little spot here. I know I've been picking at my lips a bit. They're dry. They've been really dry lately. Got 
But I also really don't like wearing lip chap. Many people are here, they're praying, they're also talking and laughing. It's really brought the community together. I'm glad to hear that. And then as soon as this cools down, I'm gonna use it again. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. I'm gonna take um, this person back, this scout back, and then we'll come back to these two places. I think they're going to add more people. And I need to get research done before I can get to ring three. I'm also definitely going to build the outpost this time. Normally I don't, but I think there are game reasons why I'm going to need those resources. I have 12 days left to convince 25 people it's a bad idea to leave. Oh, and we're going to increase this. I do have a plan. It's you guys stay put and let me take care of you. We are organized. Look at how nicely organized this is, okay? Relax. Relax. We have so much coal production, we don't even know what to do with it. The generator is keeping all the homes at very toasty warm, thank you very much. Despite them only being tents right now, but still. Frost isn't even going to touch you. Okay, it might be touching your workplaces a little bit, but that's okay. <laughs> but you see this? Look at how lucky they are to have me. Look at this. Look at this. One person has died of overwork because they we needed wood that first day. Just wait until I can give you full rations again. You'll be so happy. And we're gonna have automatons, and we're gonna have, like, uh, basically a fully automated city. No one will even have to work. This is the dream, right here. Everybody has a roof over their head. Nobody wants for nothing. Nobody has to bust their ass or die for it. Man, I wish that this would apply to real life, too. Um, do we want generator efficiency? We do want an outpost depot. Do I want it now, though? Yep, only one person has died. Um... We're gonna do hunting tactics, which will do fewer people at the hunters' things. Coal pile depleted. That's okay. We have two things making more coal piles that you can work on instead. That research might actually get done today, which would be nice.
Here we go. We can pass another law. So, evening prayers, the temple. Um, we are going to build a temple. There can only be one in the city. And it's going to be right here. Just trust me. Just trust me, everyone. Your lives are going to be so swanky. I just need a little bit of time getting there. I think I need another soda. Oh, really? At 99%. A few are persuaded. I cannot do disperse the crowd yet. A uh, member of the Londoners is talking to a crowd, is trying to scare as many as possible into joining the Exodus to London, but his visions of doom ring false in the ears of many pe of people who are content with the situation in our city. You better be fucking content. Uh, so I'm going to ask Eclara to reassure people to cut the number he's recruiting in half. Once this temple is built, um, I think people will start coming back to my side. Alright, and now we can do a ceremonial service which will cost rations. Some Londoners may mend their ways. Look at that. We got one back. Now people are not are hopeful enough not to join the Londoners. Okay. Now that you've come back. We're going to go to the walled colony, see what's going on there. We are full on wood. Oh yeah, so what are our resource limits now? So, 2250, 300, 300, it's all 300 still. We can have 300 steam cores, but we'll never find that many. <laughs> steam cores are a non-renewable resource uh, in this game and you need them for certain buildings and structures and for making automatons. Each one takes a steam core. We got survivors! Escort them! They sought winter home. We are supposed to follow the signal from the beacon, but we couldn't pick it up. We tried to follow a search pattern to find it, but we ran out of fuel. So that's like 45 more people we just added to the city. How is our housing? It says we have 40 vacant beds. Okay. Um, I'm going to do something ill-advised. And I'm going to dismantle one of the medical posts. So that I can squeeze in another tent within the first two rings. And I think that will be good. Let's go back. Send a cleric. Eventually, I'm going to have to sit down and convert all of these into bunkhouses. Uh, it looks like we've got some time. You know what, maybe I'll start doing that now.
Londoners have failed to persuade anyone to abandon our city and flee to London. People are recovering from their shock at the news of Winterhome and starting to hope for the future. Good. Good. Meanwhile, we're going to upgrade everybody's houses. So they don't even need this at steam level 2. That just gave me a bunch of workers back. We are going to do generator efficiency upgrade. Yeah, power and range are the next one down, so we'll do this one first. That means it will burn a lot less coal per day. A man was found crying silently in the temple. We approached him and asked if he needed help. He told us he wanted to see you. I thought my faith died long ago, sir, with my wife and daughters in London. I couldn't see any purpose in our new life in the fight for survival, but today when they entered the temple, I saw a future for us, and now I'm ready to face it. Nice. And we just took down one of the Londoners, and we are going to do evening prayers, which will use some rations. And that will take down another one. Um, and if we just keep on top of that... The problem will solve itself. Beautiful. I am actually going to... I'm gonna get the lighter headsets first. There's so many, there's so much research I want at this tier. But then I also want to move to the next tier as well, so I can get more generator upgrades. Especially since we're finding and bringing people back. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, we just got more survivors. Um, we're gonna go to the Frozen Grove, see what's going on there. Oh, we got 15 homeless. I don't need three. <laughs> I just need two. 
Well, maybe I will build a third one because I'm lousy with resources right now, and um, I'm trying to upgrade all of the tents to these houses. And now we can pass another law. So I was thinking child shelters because it will, it will increase hope. Boom. Now the tendency is dropping. We have 34 children, so we need three shelters. Londoners have to face more walls. You urging everybody to join them and abandon the city. Some graffiti even mocks your leadership, branding you an unfit leader, incapable of doing what it takes to save our people. Listen. I'm doing a ton, okay? I'm actually doing a lot right now. We're building warmer homes for everyone. We are building all of the resources that we are going to need long term. We're building child shelters so that our children can learn. A priest was assaulted while trying to reassure people. Uh... I have three days to establish the Faith Keepers. Right now, we're just gonna pray. We're gonna deal with it with thoughts and prayers. This feels so shitty, but it's true. Um, I don't want to commit to establishing the Faith Keepers. Um... Because it's kind of like where you get into the bigotry of the spiritual track. So, if I go to purpose, house of prayer, that's alright, no worries. We can build shrines, we can do that later. Um, evening prayers, great, awesome. Temple, very nice. Righteous denunciation is shitty as fuck. Um, because it's like, oh yeah, it's like you get up on a podium and you're just like, oh yeah, by the way, this, this person sucks. This person's bad, this person's a piece of shit. Had too much of that on Twitter already today. Um, so, yeah, just, uh, it's, it's shitty, like, in that way. And the Faith Keepers are sort of, like, your... What's a, what's a nice way to say it? <laughs> it's like a police force, but spiritual. Um, their whole job is to enforce order. Um, yeah. But they, they go and they break up protests and stuff. Yay. How are we going to survive? What should we do? Just fucking trust in me. Just listen to me when I tell you. Oh, the temperature's gonna drop two levels. Okay, so we need to get some, uh, some stuff going here. We're still eating soup. So we're already on steam level 2 and radius 2, so we do need to get, um, here, let's make another tech place. And we need more healing, okay. 
That's okay. We can do that. We can manage. I'm forgetting that I'm building houses. Alright. So, upgrade. And we're gonna build a medical post up here. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, so we're gonna delete this road real quick. Yeah, because that's gonna be too cold to work. So I'll have to turn on the um, heaters. It's the right thing to do. Hope will rise. I can't do it while it's under construction. I don't know why people are hungry when we have so much food just sitting around. Plenty of people to take care of the people. Right? They're so needy. Like, look at all the- look at all the plenty that you have. We've got so much coal stockpiled. Maybe we'll just make more stockpiles of coal. Because hell yes. into free time. What are you guys doing now? I'm gonna ask a cleric to reassure people. So, yeah. So they, uh... Yeah. It's probably gonna force me to have to build the, the faith keepers. Even though I really don't want to. Oh, we have no steel. We just gotta wait a little bit for that, though. It looks like my automaton is refueling. Okay, so something we're gonna do... We're gonna do, uh, shrines, because it opens up House of Healing, which is another way... Like, another medical thing. So, shrine... What other workplaces are there? Just those? Okay. The hunters' huts don't count, because they don't actually do the work at the huts. So we'll put it on this ring. We're out of wood. There. Or no, we're out of steel is what it was. Okay. Oh wow, we can get one right there, and that does everything. Explore. Okay. Dying exiles. Exile from Tesla City with food and fuel running out. We send the strongest among us to search for help. They're our last hope. We're afraid to these this refers to these poor Yankees we buried. Oof. So we're gonna take them to our city. We couldn't tell them the truth, not yet. Okay. So now we're gonna need even more houses. So that is... 36 plus 18... 40... 54? Plus 7... 61, I think.
First Londoner is convinced to stay. Several people who wanted to flee London have decided to trust you and stay. My recent decisions uh, convince them that there is hope for us here yet. Thank you. I told you, thank you for trusting me. J you just gotta trust me. I got you. I got you all. Oh, I haven't selected a resource for this. Coal, thank you. Look at how good you all have it. <laughs> I'm gonna shame you. <laughs> Look at how good you all have it right now. <laughs> President. I don't know. Just, okay. Now, I want to... Yes. Increase the range of the, of the generator and the power of the generator. But we need a lot more steel. So. Before we can do those. Is there anything on tier 2? Okay. Oh, I did get that. Healthcare insulation would be really good, actually. We're gonna need more food production as well. Oh, and that's almost done. Well, that's convenient. Because I want- I'm gonna build a hunter's hut right there. I'm gonna wait until we have the materials to get that. They have seven kids coming, too. We should be okay. Oh, that's cute. I need to build another shrine still. Shoot. Um, so we are going to... Right. Uh, we're gonna do medic apprentices. I think. No, engineer apprentices. So the kids will help um, with the research speed as part of, like, a, a learning thing. Food, hunter's hut, boom. There we go. Look at how high our hope is, everybody. We're doing- we're doing fantastic. I need to build another shrine before it yells at me. Uh, it's just gonna kinda go up here. I really want to do more research, but I do not have the steel. Yay. Hope rises. This is going to be an issue. Because this is going to dump a bunch of people on me that I don't have houses for. Okay, so now. You're going to go there. I'm going to go here and suffer. And 
and hope that my automaton can catch up with the steel production. So the nice uh, thing about automatons is that they work 24 hours. Because, you know, they're robots. <laughs> oh, heck, okay. That should have been done. Take resources. That's a lot. Um, we're gonna go snow cliff? Sure. Yeah, we can't really research anything right now because we don't have enough steel. We're kind of coming up short on that because we're trying to build houses out of it. Okay, we're still gonna need two more houses. Boom. 18 Londoners left to convert. People abandon the Londoners. Very nice. Beautiful. Um, steelworks. We're gonna just make another steelworks and we're gonna put people in it because I'm suffering with how much um, steel we need versus what we're getting. And it's gonna get colder. Refuge from winter home. What would it what did it say? Oof. Okay, so that is running up. Cool. So let's get um, the power upgrade. another sawmill. Just get rid of that last little chunk of wood here. Um, we... I can't address this right now. I apologize. Come on, I need 40 steel. I need 40 of it. Survivors, children's hideout. 
34 children. Escort the children. Please have enough warm beds prepared for their arrival. Yes, of course. Oh, wait. We have 40. Okay. Power upgrades start. It's not going to get finished today. <laughs> but it'll get finished first thing tomorrow. Cool. We're going to... Oh, wow. Crowd is listening to one of the lenders who's scaring people with visions of doom. He's tried to persuade them to flee London. The discontented seem to take his words to heart, but the other others remain unconvinced. We are going to ask Eclair to reassure the people. people died. What? The priest you sent to challenge the Londoner speaker, he's dead. They hanged him from the generator. A piece of paper was found pinned to his lifeless body with liars written on it. They've gone too far. Yeah. So they just killed one of my one of my priests. So, I should I try and do this without faith keepers? Because this is going to pressure me to do faith keepers. Well, I think on that thought, I'm going to AFK real quick. I desperately need another drink because I am thirsty. So I will be right back. Let me go on the menu here. BRB, boop. Be right back. And I'm back just like that. There we go. Ow. I'll just hit my knee on the desk to start this. It's great. Okay. Back to this question.
I'm gonna do this one. Hmm. Sure, why not? We'll put the factory right next to it. Four wood. stuff. Steam cars. Just start fishing. We're going to leave the village intact, I think. Okay, and then we're gonna go to Tesla City, but we're gonna save when they get close to it because uh, Tesla City, sometimes you can lose your people instead of finding stuff. And we have no food again. Sleepy baby. Oh, and we're gonna need more child shelters. Because we have children on the way. I forgot. I actually forgot about the kids on the way. Central tall tower shines with the blue glow of electric discharges which form a protective dome over the town. But something went wrong here. There are charred bodies lying in the streets and the stench of burned flesh taints the air. We saw a lightning streak from the tower hitting a building and leaving a gash in its roof. And I forgot to save it before coming here. We're gonna stay away. Nobody has survived inside but some people may have escaped. You don't need to go up to steam level 3 yet. Oh! Okay. So someone died at the House of Healing, but he was... Okay with it? Is the vibe there? So we've lost three people. 
One was a guy who died of overwork at the very beginning, one was a priest that was killed by the lenders, and one was a guy who was just um, old and tired and yeah. And I'm not researching, why am I not doing this? Okay, since we have lots of steel. I can't address this right now. Because the, the temperature is about to drop. It always does this right before the temperature is about to drop. Like, listen. I can't. I'm sorry, I can't. I just can't. It's physically impossible with the temperature going to minus 60 in hours. Like, I'm just gonna break the promise and they'll be pissed about that. Okay. And the last thing on the map to find, really, is this coal mine. still need more houses. Okay. Uh, so, the next thing I research is either going to be the factory or the outpost. Take resources. Research station. Uh, yeah. Okay, so my coal consumption is about to skyrocket because I'm going to turn this up and then that research is going to make it expand to the third ring. But that will hopefully keep them warm enough. <sighs> 33 f rood rations. You're really going to force my hand with this shit. bunch of assholes. What are you doing now? <sighs> they will soon repent for their sins. Bitch. Yeah, see? So, p the number is falling every day. It, ju it just keeps popping up these events that, um, because they're actively antagonizing everybody. You're gonna survive because I'm gonna let- I'm gonna make you survive. Like, come on.
So, I'm gonna go here. Drop off all the stuff. There. See, now everybody's cold. The people in the middle are real cold. Oh, you're cold too. That's not even enough to warm you. Okay. Uh, tech. Steam hub. Son of a... It puts the graveyard in the distance, damn it. Okay. Okay, if I can get a road in there. Covers damn near everybody. Watch this. Boom. Now they're warm. And I'm gonna do this one as well. Shoot. I was supposed to do factory or outposts. That's okay. It's okay though. We'll be fine. How many people are actually here? Pretty much everybody. Wow. Okay. And this one we're gonna do just during work hours. So it saves a bit of coal. See, now our consumption is in the red. Uh, but once the uh, temperature goes down again, we could probably drop this like two whole levels. Especially if I can get all of these houses converted. What's your problem now? Frostbite. It's okay. You'll be fine. Uh-oh. We finally have our first amputee. We must do something. Pretty sure I've already signed that law. Speaking of discontent. This is what we're going to do about it. When in doubt, brawl it out. And that will uh, do an automatic nightly reduction in discontent if they have a place to literally fight it out. Now, Outpost Depot. We're going to do that one first. 
because I want to get the. Um, oh, okay. Bye, Demark. Thank you for thank you for hanging out with me and lis listening to me ramble on about Frostpunk all day. Uh, I really appreciate it. Doesn't even do nothing. What are you doing? <sighs> we can't put our people at risk. Okay, you know what? Fine. We're going to establish the faith keepers because you guys, I'm done with you. I'm tired of you. We're done. We've had enough. Not enough people have mended their ways. We have five days of this left. Are the heaters still on? Here. Saves a little bit of energy. A little bit of coal. Hey Mike, how's it going? People abandon the Londoners. Good. Yay. We are organized and we are doing something. Oh, why do I have someone who's homeless? Okay, so now we're going to send them back out here. You're almost at the coal mine. And you... We can take the coal and go back. So there's three outposts. Um... I think I'm definitely going to do the food one. Okay. Oh, we have a lot of uh, steel now. Let's do this. Yeah, I don't really care if they're too cold to work. I'm assuming that they'll just be at home. Um, it's fine. All it all it's doing for me right now is just giving me a little bit of a boost to the research. But I have three of these fully staffed anyway, so my research is going quick enough. Now we'll build the stupid factory. There we go. And now we can build the outpost depot. There we go. Which needs a road, of course it does. There. 
I'm glad I could thank. I could help. I'm glad for your thanks. <laughs> oh, that sounds shitty. I have so many engineers. You know what? No. Keep the engineers on the coal. Everybody's warm. Did I get healthcare insulation? Not yet. Okay. That's why the those are cold. That's why the girls are cold? That's why those are cold. Captions. Okay. Alright, now we can make an outpost team. We're gonna go get some food. Like, I'm gonna try and beat this with the Faith Keepers. They're really pushing my buttons, but I'm gonna... I'm just gonna stay the course. Things are pretty good right now. Discontent is going down a little bit. Um... We'll be okay. Oh, that went up. Now it went down. Now it went up. Oh, because the medical facility is being overcrowded. Okay. So, there's nothing left to explore that direction. So, we're going to go to the cave hideout. really pushing me. We're gonna do public house. New law. A new law has passed. Right next to the church. <laughs> Maybe up here actually. Actually, um, where are we gonna put this? Over here. That'll work. I'm gonna leave that one alone, in case hope drops for another reason. Oh, and I can turn the temperature down. There we go. 
Look at how good y'all have it. <laughs> Sign the public penance law. I'm not gonna do that, I don't think. Can I make another outpost team? Current limit is one, okay. There we go. Build the factory and start making automatons. Well, if you insist. We just used a steam core. First one of the game. So we're going to make a couple prosthetics first. Because that will make people happy. Okay. I will solve this problem. We're going to move over to that because now we have an outpost that is delivering to us raw food. Um, speaking of, let's put some people on that. Because they're going to be busy processing it all. Awesome. Okay. Now, we want to do streamline automatons. Are you kidding? Get faith keepers. Moonshine. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. That only went down by one. I wish it wouldn't tick three times, and it's only going to do one. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, so it's going to go down to minus 70, and then when it comes back up, it's going to be minus 50. Look at that discontent falling. Look at that. Once we no longer have bad food, we're perfect. Our hope bar is full. Our discontent bar is empty. There's, like, literally zero reason why anybody needs to leave. We're, we're great. We're perfect. So now I want, um, I want difference engine. And I do kind of want an automaton. Yes. Beautiful. I promise some good food. Zero discontent, 100% hope. See? We know what we're doing. Ruined warehouse, where is that? Oh, it's right here. And that's another uh, outpost. Can I make another outpost team? Current limit one. Okay. Is there a way to get more? Through research? No. That's lame. Okay. That sucks. I just built this over here so that, yeah, so the automaton can actually refuel right next to work. It doesn't even need to be on. No. Because it's full. It doesn't know what to do with itself. We are getting, like, dangerously full on rations. Gorgeous. Okay. So now, uh, efficiency upgrade, I do like that, but I'm going to get house, and I'm going to get house redesign, and then I'm going to upgrade all the houses to houses. Yes. Glorious automation. Okay, 
Yes. So, I'm gonna build more resource depots. Because heck. We need to be able to have room to store all of our rations. goodness. This one scout is carrying so much stuff. <laughs> ah, this chocolate's really hitting right now. This is really good. Can you tell I hang out with Raven way too much? I've definitely adopted some of their, um, the way that they speak. Oh, that's okay. But that's okay because we have a button that restores hope. Watch this. Boop. Yes. Seeing that we have no ill intentions, the Americans told us how they dealt justice to the inventor after expelling him from his city. We buried Tesla's battered body in the cave and are heading home with these poor wretches in tow. Oh, jeez. They killed Nikola Tesla. This game is like some anti-Tesla propaganda, and I, and I do not appreciate that. Oh, I can have two? <gasps> I didn't even know I could have two of those. Is that why it's like, oh yeah, you can only support one at this thing. Is there, can I have a third? Is there another spot for one? We'll figure it out. There are nine Lon Londoners left. We might- we may be able to convince them of their foolishness today. I don't intend to use it, but it wants me to pass a law, so. Okay, we're taking you home. Nope. This way? Thank you. Mike, what other outpo outposts should we get? Steel, coal, or wood? Because technically I could- I have, like, more than enough of all the resources. Steel is a bit slow going because I am using automatons on these. I 
think I'm gonna do steel. I think I just answered my own question. Carry on with the project. Yes, please improve the automatons. Thank you. Beautiful. I need ten more steel. One more Londoner down. One day, 19 hours left. Okay, so everybody's about to be really cold. Nice. Seven left. Oh yeah, I wanted to see. Can I build another outpost depot? Nope, just the two on this map. Okay. They're down to four. <laughs> Okay, so how many people are we getting? 36? I'm gonna wait for this research to finish. Brace yourselves. Cold is coming. Yeah, so that makes everything a lot colder. There we go. to check that out. Okay, so we need three houses. I'm hoping that... Okay, cool. I'm hoping that... Um... Yeah, we've explored damn near everything. We can get this done today. Despite it being very cold. Not that we can't afford the houses, but I just prefer to not waste materials on them if I can avoid it.
Oof. Okay. Bottom tier. Now we'll build houses. Give him an automaton. That's fine. We're gonna build another house so that we have uh, one that people can sort of overflow into so that I can start upgrading all of the other houses to houses. And if you look at that, minus 70, this is livable. And then if it gets the um, the final upgrade, that wasn't the one I went for, but I'll take it. Um Good day ends. It's time off. Oh, we have like a lot of amputees now. Three of them left, Mike. at home. People abandon the Londoners. I think one more sermon will do it.
Zero. Look at that. No faith keepers. That's how we do it. We are united. Now. For the next problem to solve. Give him a steam core. Do it. The malfunctioning automaton has been repaired. Boop. Nope, oh, that makes them cold. Okay, we will need to do that then. Um, but we can take this the level down one more if we can convert them all to houses. And that will save on some consumption. This has no more wood. Okay.
I'm going to build another automaton just to work that sawmill. Oh, what am I drinking? Thank you, Valq, for the redeem. <laughs> I'm just drinking Orange Crush. I know it's not water, but I don't know. I don't really like water lately. <laughs> I have to wonder. Um, it seems like people are using sub points as they get them. Are like, do I have sub points, channel points? It seems people are using them up as soon as they get enough to do something with them. Do you guys ever save them, or do you just like to use them as much as you can? And the ones that I have, like the options that I have for what you can spend your channel points on, do, are those like good? Do you think I should add more? What do you think? I'd really like some feedback on that. See if I can figure out what I'm doing with it. I'll just crowdsource. Crowdsource some feedback here. No, okay. They're still making a couple spare prosthetics. And then once this is done, I'm gonna try turning this down again and see how that takes. Yep, yeah. so the houses are still livable, but the medical facilities are not. So maybe we will just take these out. Supply Depot. I'm just exploring the last couple spots on the map. I think I'm going to just finish this campaign today. I'm not going to stop at four hours. I'm just going to keep going. Because I'm having fun. And we're going to get into some stuff soon. Oh, okay, good. Thank you so much, Valkyrie. I need to research. Whoops. I need to pay attention. Okay, so I took those out, so I'm going to replace them with houses. I don't have enough wood. Uh, so I need 80 wood for, per automaton, so... I need to relax on building things for a minute. Yeah. Um, and then sawmill. Let's get some more stuff going. Oh, what's that? Unexpected guests. A group of exhausted survivors have reached our city. From their frantic explanations, we know they've come a great distance, and that many of them died on the way. The phrase, doom is coming, keeps being repeated, and they say many more refugees are following them. We will help them. Rece resolve the situation with the incoming refugees. Okay. We're okay, though. We got lots of food. Automaton project is complete. Medical automatons automatically researched. Always, 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 if you get the pop-up, the engineer wants to check out the automatons, just do it. Just do everything that he says. Um, give him the steam core, take the automaton offline for a day, whatever. Take the engineer off work for a day or whatever. 
It really doesn't cost that much, and it's like free upgrades, so... Oh. One second. Honey. Honey, honey, honey. Really? Oh. My dog is excited about something. I think someone's at my door because someone ordered food. Are you? You don't need to be alarmist. You don't need to be alarmist right now. Hi. Oh, muffin. Okay. You want to watch the door? <laughs> it's okay. You're okay. You're, you'll survive. You'll survive, honey. Okay. You want to sit? Do you want to sit down while I play my game? Do you want to sit down? No? <laughs> there we go. Oh, they're still knocking. Okay, one second. I gotta go actually take care of that. Okay, 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 oh my goodness. Give me a second here. Give me a second. Okay, we'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs> We're back. So it was someone looking for someone who doesn't live here. Um, who has never lived here. So, yeah. I think they got the wrong house or something. Oh. Is my webcam really choppy all of a sudden? Hold on. What's going on with that? Has it always been doing that? The whole stream? Please tell me the answer is no. It's like blurry now. Nothing of note. Okay, come back. Really warm because the heater is like blowing against my feet right now. Okay, we are gonna make another automaton. Oh, that's not an automaton, that's a prosthetic. There we go. Sure, why not? Whoa, 
thought workplaces are cold. Exactly. These ones don't really matter because they're not anything. And that's it. That's the whole map explored. So we'll just send everybody back. When it tells us to take down our outposts, we'll do that. Because that'll happen soon. Muffin. She's sitting there staring at me. Okay, right. So I took those apart because I wanted to build the medical posts in the inner ring. Oh, what? Muffin. Muffin. We are organized. Look at how organized we are. Look at how freaking beautifully organized we are. The only thing we don't have in excess of is wood. And that's probably because I just never bothered with the wall drill. Work time. Get back to work. So we have more refugees coming, right? Yeah. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. So once this research is done... Oop. Um... Oh. What should I do? I definitely need heaters. Let's start that. And I'm gonna need more houses. Twenty-five, fifteen steel. Honey! Hi! There's a puppy right here. Requires wood. Oh, okay. Yeah, I keep using it up because I'm trying to build houses. Stupid. I'm boiling. We're out of wood. Oh, because we used it for the automaton. Okay. There we go. And that will keep this from dipping too low when the temperature goes down again. Oh! Oh! Right, technology. Range upgrade. Oof. Power upgrade, oof. Okay. 
We need wood so bad. Oh! Because we're going to need the generator maxed out at range 4, heat level 4, um, and then that generator safety bypass as well. Um, because there's the storm. Many are sick. They say some kind of enormous weather anomaly is coming our way and they'll die without our help. We'd have never survived. Everyone is welcome. 70 people. Oh my gods. Okay. Honey. Okay, so that's the first scout back. There we go. There are more coming, too. Oh, yes. Uh, range upgrade first. Let's do that. Let's get them in the radius. Let's get these houses in the radius that I'm building. Oh, Muffin. Oh my goodness. Mommy, why are you playing video games when I desire your attention? Yeah, and there's nothing else to explore. So, we have no need of scouts now. Oh, Muffin. Muffin. Oh. We have a lot of people, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take advantage of that, and I'm going to make more gathering. Oh! And then tech, steam hub. That will not cover that gathering post. Shoot. That's a problem. I'm trying to get that... I'm trying to get them all in the radius. It's not gonna work, though. Oh, unless I do it like that. This poor gathering post. <laughs> Just has the heat on 24-7. Nora! Nora, Nora, I love you. I love you. I do. Grumble pup. Oh. Am I in sub only mode? Is that why people are sending it in sub only mode? One second. Is that a mistake on my part? No, I don't even have that enabled because I don't have any subs. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Muffin. 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 What? What do you mean? The frick do you mean? It's warm. Oh, did I make too many workplaces and they're not all warm? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Be that way then. Oh. Stockpile some coal. Stockpile some food. Honey, baby, lo love, my darling, my dearest, my sweetest, precious child. Hello. 
Hello? <laughs> I love you. I do. How many vacant beds do we have? 55. And this is definitely more than 55. Nope. Oh. Oh. Got to use wood to get wood. Okay. Don't put that out of context, please. Honey! Honey, hi! Okay, so... Yeah, they're cold. Because they're not full houses yet. So, we need to start upgrading those. Fairly soon. Very soon, actually. Oh. Yes! Automaton! On. And we have another one queued. Oh. Oh. No, I don't want to put that there. Okay. Oh. Honey. There we go. And then we are researching, right, the range upgrade. We're really good for coal. Let's get some people in there. Ugh. Don't tell me it's Hamadon. We actually have enough steel, it's fine. Um, yeah, it's just got to sit for a minute. need to go to range four yet. Thank you very much. Another automaton has been built. Put it here. Uh. Okay. Will remain a threat. We're gonna slow them down. It's okay. It's fine. They're not doing, like, super important work. It's just, um resources. Okay. The second wave. Everyone is welcome. Get them in here. Just get in. Just get in the city, please. We're gonna build another house of healing. I can't address this right now. I'm sorry. I'm working on it. But I'm not gonna be beholden to a promise that I know I will probably not keep to the exacting letter of it. Uh, okay. And then... Okay. <laughs> yeah, the subtitles are just kind of... Oh, they just kind of do their own thing sometimes. And then we have another group of refugees coming.
this is done and no longer needs to exist. And then we'll put the automaton there. Yeah, their efficiency takes a big hit if they accidentally cripple someone. Oh yes, I was gonna do House of Healing. Sure. No, you know what? I'm just gonna use up. Yeah. Okay. This should only be during work hours. It shouldn't be 24-7. Same with this one, is this? Okay, good. Bacon beds, 25. We have like 60 people coming. Oh, okay. Is that what's going on with your generator? we go. See? They love the automatons. Beautiful. Uh, we don't actually need to... Okay. Alright. Um... Okay, so I want to get the last generator upgrade down here. Oh, wait. Let's do this one. Then I can keep building houses. Uh, still need more. Two more should do it, I think. Everyone is welcome. We save everyone here. We can Now we can clearly see what the refugees are running from. The Great Frost is coming. We have to repair. Scientists say they can calculate the severity of the storm from observations. They just need a day or two to repair their instruments and install them in the beacon. Okay. Why are there suddenly explorable things? So we're going to dismantle the outpost here. And we're going to grab the team. And we're going to send them home. And we're going to build houses. Oh, nuts. Okay. Put that back to work. Literally, no one should be starving. Oh, it's probably because of the refugees. Research beacon, stereo stereoscopic lens. Okay. So that's here? Okay. Oh, ouch. 
stereoscopic lens, I think. Okay, we're gonna grab this, make a new scout, go check that. Uh, I need more wood. Okay, so a new battery will do it, right? Eighty-two people are sick. That's not good. I don't think I ever actually researched infirmaries. I might have to do that. We'll survive this, no problem, no worries. I'm just kind of fast forwarding a bit. So I've got the materials I need for the research. Okay, so first, we're gonna disband this. And then we're going to research this. And then you are going to Bring them to our city, please. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna start upgrading more houses. And get some more food production going. Just because we can. I just want to have all the food in the world stockpiled. There we go. The nice thing about the hunter huts is they don't have to have like a certain temperature. They just work. We have way too many people still sick. Okay.
Let's just do it. It's fine. And suddenly there's so many survivors out here. daughter ran away after the news of the storm spread. He wants to borrow a scout sled and go after her. Um... Do it. Oh, shoot. Yeah. That puts us over our consumption a little bit. I don't know why anybody's hungry. We have so much food. sure everybody's all taken care of. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Too many people are sick. Are you both going to the same place? Oh, you're escorting. Okay. I was going to say. Okay, then you go right back out. This research is taking a lot longer. Then 
than I would like it to. Uh... The strongest winds and storm will cause the temperature to plummet beyond anything we've ever experienced before. Hunting will be impossible. The plants in the hothouses will freeze. Everyone left outside the city will perish. And so will we if we can't heat our homes properly. We have to repair. Okay. Then it's a damn good thing. Oh. We did what we could to raise the heat output of the generator. This alone might not be enough. All our homes and workplaces should be as warm as possible. The cold that's coming could kill in minutes. Yes. Hold. Check. Ha ha ha. Recall all scouts and outpost teams. Check. Uh, rescue the survivors from the Deep Hollow. We're on our way. Gather at least a week's worth of food for each citizen. Holy moly, okay. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna make another automaton. So as soon as we get 80 wood, we can take people off of this one. Because I don't want any people working on those things. We have 110 people who are sick. Okay. And we are currently at a deficit for coal, so we need more coal. Uh, I don't have the charcoal kiln, which is okay right now. total of 3,696. Um, so I'm gonna need to build the large storage depot. So I'll have to research that next. I'm going to increase the hours on these guys, and I know it's gonna make them unhappy, but we need it. We need it bad. We have six days. Uh, okay, so which outpost team is that? This one here? Disbanded. Scouts. Explore. Escort the, the scientists to the city. There. Okay. So now we need food rations. Uh, we're gonna go back to soup for a bit. I apologize. I'm gonna wait until I can get that research going. People house. We need to gather an excess amount of food. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, 
This needs to be on the extended hours. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Now... Right, I need to do res uh, resources. I don't have 30 trees? Come on, wait five seconds. There we go. That storm's coming. I could have kept that outpost there for a little bit longer. Okay, so everything's disbanded. Okay. That's another um, automaton. Go on here, please. We don't want anybody working in coal workplaces as much as possible. Um, we are still at a deficit for coal. We need to do something about that. So, resources, coal. Let's do a steam hub right here. Sure, why not? Whatever. It's fine. My webcam got laggy at some point. I don't quite understand why. I think because maybe it's been running too long. Or maybe the game is causing it. Um, I want this one, but that's too expensive. So let's get, I have not enough steel. I'm just a little bit stressed. Because... Whew. Five days left. Okay, work hours only. Shy Hulud Summoner? I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. Okay, now our production should be better. I think maybe my webcam got laggy because it's a bit 
There's a lot going on on the screen right now. Carry on. Carry on. Scattered convoy. We're gonna need more houses too. There, that will let us catch up with coal. I don't think I can get to the Jagged Rocks. It's fine though. I'm not overly concerned with wasting my time with that. I think I'm gonna make another cookhouse. Just so that we can stockpile. So that's what it's all about right now. I don't know where to put it. So all the bunkhouses are still very cold. <sighs> okay, fine. You want to force me into getting the Faith Keepers, you pack of assholes? I got way more important shit to worry about, honestly.
Okay. Six hours to arrive. Oh, it's 20 steel for that. Oh, I thought it was 10. Maybe I'm thinking the shrines. Come on. There we go. I need rations real badly. Okay. I'm just making everybody do hunting. Inhabited? Fucking redirect, go. Fuck. I definitely could have gotten a couple more shipments of steel before all this. We are still so short on rations. We don't even have enough storage for it. Where is the... There it is. Nope. There it is. So, we can store, like, half of what we need. So we need more storage. I'm going to dismantle this, and I'm going to turn this to working hours only. I may not get these scouts back. Hey Emma, how's it going? Sorry, 
I'm I'm highly stressed right now. <laughs> I am playing to the end of this scenario because I'm very close to the end. Um, not sure how I'm going to get ahead of my food shortage yet. I I'm very focused right now. <laughs> Okay, so I need more food ration storage. I also need more food rations. Doom mongering drunks. Send them home. Go away. Oh, I haven't established the faith keepers yet. Forgot about that. Yeah, I am just, uh, I'm in it right now. I have to... I have to survive a storm. I haven't done all of these things yet. Currently we're rescuing the survivors from Deep Hollow, but there's more survivors. And I don't know if my scout will get to them in time because it's right on the edge of this storm that is coming in and freezing everything. <laughs> you did deserve it! Excuse you! <laughs> you do deserve it. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being my friend. Okay. I need 40 steel. Tell my automatons to hurry up. <laughs> okay. My hands are sweaty. I'm really in it right now. I know my webcam is choppy. I think it's just because there's too much going on in the game. Um, it's affecting my webcam somehow. So I apologize for that. If I go to just webcam view, it's not choppy at all. Okay, now how much is that? That's the wrong one. Uh, not enough yet. Right, okay. So, something I want to do is I want to give these extended shifts. And that means that the hubs need to be extended working hours as well. Alright. So that's one scout back. I'm going to disband them immediately. So we have rescued all the survivors. We still have four days. I'm hoping that these ones can rescue... Yes. I'm hoping that these ones can rescue more. I can't- I don't think I can make it to the Jagged Rocks before it all freezes over. Um, but Camp Compass said that they have no activity. Okay. Camp Compass said that they had more. We have 674 people in this city. And there we go. You guys don't need to be on extended hours if you're not researching. Save a little... Save a little time and energy. Um... You are not full. Oh my goodness. You are not full. Okay. Alright, so I'm trying to get, like, a good 4,000 rations. Um, this is saying my wood is full. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, if that's the case, then I'm going to turn the automaton off. And I'm going to put them on this one. And that will send some people home who don't need to be working in the cold. And then, house. I just have to keep upgrading these to houses because the houses are the warmest. Um, so everything that is red is comfortable and yellow is livable. Um, so I'm gonna try and get everything to livable for the storm. There's the storm. It says it'll drop one level. 
but it's going to drop two levels right before it. So if I can just get um, all these converted to houses, I could actually turn this down one level, and then I'll turn it to maximum for the storm, and we'll be great. The only issue is that we do not have enough food rations, and I am trying. <laughs> I am really trying with these. Um, and we don't have enough space to store it either. There we go. It's going to be on like that. No, nope, we're going to do the, the thin rations because we just need the numbers to look right. And we don't care about that. Um, yes, escort the survivors to the city. Thank you. Fortified hut. No movement, but people might still be sheltering inside. I can't afford to get you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna save like 700 people. You know what? Just to, just to like completely max this out, we're gonna build yet another cookhouse. Oh yes. Ta-da! No more stealing food. Yep. Yeah. So this was kind of a bad thing to do, is to establish the Faith Keepers, because they basically go around and proselytize to people um, that you need to follow our religion or else. Um, which I don't like, but the game is kind of push cornering me into that, because like if I don't, and then I can't get enough rations in time to survive the storm. So I need to I need to be on top of that. Um, resources, resource depot. Let's do it. Is this on only during work hours? Yes. Okay. Good. And coal is a thing too. This needs to be rations, and then we still don't quite have enough storage for the n amount of rations that we need, so. I'm probably going to need like two more. Oh, turn that up, there, there, okay. And yes, you can have the heater on. Okay. This is like, real bad. Public dependence can cause injuries, yeah. So we're not gonna do that. Um, resource depot. Get a road to it. I think the scout team's gonna make it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I could not make it to the fortified hut. There was no way. Oh, is this done? Well, then get rid of it. Let's put the automaton on something else. Okay. One more supply. One more resource depot. That should be enough. I wanted to have a very high amount of coal as well. Oh, okay, yeah. 
Bees are complaining that they're cold because they're not open. Um, when they open at 6 a.m., then they will turn on the heaters and the um, heat nodes around them will turn on. Um, you're kind of jumping in the middle, so I apologize. There's a lot to this game. Uh, and I'm just finishing off the end of it. <laughs> the end of this campaign, at least. Uh, oh, food rations. Uh, but I'm about to win gloriously, so that's a good time, too. <laughs> okay. And people. We need houses. Oh, I can upgrade another one? Let's do it, then. Can I upgrade another one? Yeah! Okay, let's do it. Okay, now we should have enough storage space for the rations. We still do not have enough rations, though. We don't- I actually still don't have enough storage space for the rations. My goodness. Resources. Resor resource depot. Where am I going to put this thing? Sure. Is someone going to make that? Is someone going to build the road? Who's not building this road? Oh. So, let's do a prayer thingy. There we go. We need to disband these scouts. And that finishes that check mark. Now we just need food. The only thing we need to worry about now is food. What's going on now? Prayers at work. Let them pray. Sure. That's a kind of a shitty time, but okay, sure. <laughs> it's okay, we have over 5,000 coal in storage. Um, all we need to work on now is building houses and praying that our food gets up to an acceptable level. Okay. And I'm gonna make another house here. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. We've got everybody making soup. Um, I'm gonna bring this down a level, I think. And that will make every everything livable. I believe. I'm gonna make another house, just for good measure. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're okay. We're gonna get through this. I'm just gonna have to put it up again in a few hours, but that's okay. We're just basically saving our coal, letting it bank. Okay, is there any research I can get now? Resources, efficient gathering. Sure, let's do it. Okay, all of these are houses now. They are all livable. We have rescued everyone we can. We just need food. It's the only thing we're worried about. Food. Hunter's hut. Um, sure. Let's do it. Oh, we're not gathering any wood right now. That's a problem. Hey, uh... One second. 
What's using the Natal? Okay. Go here, please. <laughs> oh, yeah, this one is inoperative because it's used up. Okay, all right. One of the portion resources, so they can prepare the storm, and nobody was seriously injured, but tensions are running high. We are doing our best here, okay? Just relax. Just relax. Let me take care of you. I got it all figured out. You just need to listen to me. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Like I said, you're kind of jumping in the middle. Uh, when I started today, um, I was explaining everything. Um... But now I'm at a point where I'm stressed out trying to beat it, and I I apologize. I don't know if I could stop and explain it. I'm just not quite in that space for it. <laughs> okay. Oh, and we need to put this up. Mike can do it. Mike can talk about what Frostpunk is. <laughs> How it all works. I'm gonna just turn this off. We don't need the public house right now. Um, hey, everybody pray. Okay, the hunters are all coming back with food. Temperature falls, we're okay. You go outside and you're dead. What? Disperse the crowd. People may get hurt. I'm not- no. There is absolutely no conceivable way I can get 1400 wood for this. That's not happening. I have 23. Okay. There. Put the automaton there. That's all in working hours. Good. Okay. And then all these cooks are working. This one's got a sick absence. This is like kind of the second last day. Yeah! <laughs> This is the second last day. Yep, so we're in the second last day before all hell breaks loose. Um, did this build it? Not yet. Okay. Please, rations. Please. If I don't hit the right number, it's just gonna- I'm just gonna lose the game. It's just gonna end and that'll be that. Food. I never researched hot houses, and I don't feel like um, building heat for them. So, hunters' huts it is. We have a lot of engineers that are doing nothing. Oh, they can all shovel coal. Okay. Efficient gathering research. Beautiful. Um, we are at over 3,000 rations, so that's good. Get this, Max. If I could get... Flying Hunters. Maybe that will do it. Maybe that will make up the difference. Look at all my hunter's huts. 
I have so many. Oh my goodness. I just want, I just want to win. I just want to win this. I just want to win it. We're still in work time, so I'm going to throw another one here. And I'm going to not have enough wood for another one. And I'm just going to throw another one here. Why is it going to destroy resources? I don't care about wood, really. I mean, I need it for stuff, clearly. <laughs> okay. I may have to um, pull a couple 24 hour shifts to get more rations done in time. Meatball surgery? Mike, I don't know what that is either. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that word? Inoperative. Has no raw food. Yeah. Okay, and we're going to have to increase the temperature on this again. Okay. That one's staffed. Just everybody get all the food. Okay. We're going up one more level. Oh, did this build my automaton? Not yet. Okay. Did someone lose their testicles? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, okay. captions is like, did I say something or did it think I said something? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we already increased that. So everything is comfy as heck right now. Um, we have a lot of people in these. We don't need these going right now. Because we don't actually have that many people sick. So maybe I'll keep that one up. There's the coming cold. Minus 80 degrees centigrade. Okay. So we need hope. I don't have any sermons right now. Okay. Okay, this is it. This is it. Moment of truth. Can I tell these guys to go and get more? Oh, you know what? I'm researching the uh, upgraded hunters, right? So we can probably get a couple of those built today, and then that will give us even more raw food to draw from when I do the 24-hour shift at the last second. Beautiful. Okay. Just do it up. Do it all. Sure. Do it. Yes. I haven't actually played Endzone yet, Mike. My beverage is almost out. Okay, I need workers to come over here and deal with these. Wait. It gave me the check mark for food. 
But we don't have quite enough food. Okay. Uh, heck. It's okay. It's okay, right? It's okay. We'll be okay. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Uh, please finish. There we go. Please finish before the end of the work of the scheduled work day. Please and thank you. Okay. Beautiful. So now those ones will produce more. Ten more. And even more when this is finished. Okay. And now... They produce... So they're now 25 better than the normal hunter hut. Okay. Now we're waiting for the storm to hit. Here it goes. Oh yeah, speaking of the temple. Yes, that was something I was talking about at the beginning, Mike, was that there is no um, competition with other players or like sort of manufactured threats where um, you have to, like, actively go and fight something like zombies or monsters or, or NPCs or whatever else. Um, like, other people are not the threat, really. Um, it's purely the weather. Yes. Okay, here we go. We're about to win. Do you want to know how many people have died? Three. Three people have died. Only three. We have saved 693 people. We have lost only three. Okay. I'm just kind of... It doesn't actually quite show when the storm ends. I think it's supposed to be like three days. Here we go. Okay, fine. Here it comes. We turn this up. Okay, good. Consumption's a little high, but we have almost 5,500 stockpiled coal. Here it comes. The storm lasts a week? Oh, okay. Well, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. No, they're not. Mike, stop telling lies. No one's freezing. <laughs> they're injured. They're not freezing. Here they comes. Here it comes.
The storm hits the city. The city must survive. A howling gale bursts upon the city and the generator creaks and groans under the weight of the wind. Pale faces turn towards rattling windows. Trembling lips utter words of prayer. The cold will be brutal. Hunting is impossible. The soil in the hot houses will freeze. We'll have to make do with the food we've stockpiled. The city must survive. I don't care if the faith keepers have heat or not. Here. I want more faith keepers, though. You know what? They can go home. <laughs> Disputes about supplies? Oh, that turns that back on? Well then. Fine. Go away. Oh! It's gonna keep dropping! Okay. That's okay. We're okay. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. Okay. We have to survive the storm. This cannot be warm enough. I don't think anybody can actually build right now. My cook houses are still cooking. Are they still working? Yes, they are. So we are not gonna run out of food because they are cooking everything that was left over. It's only some of my hunter's huts are inoperative. Not all of them. Maybe I built too many? The game is, is glitching? <laughs> Might as well research. Oh, this is done. I wish I could zoom out and see the storm, but when there's a storm, you actually don't have access to the map. If they're still working, I'm gonna build another automaton. So I just wanna see, okay, so everything is livable. So, uh, once the temperature drops again, it will put them into chili, which does make it so that they will get sick. Yeah, we're getting a couple of amputations. Ooh. I don't like the sound of that. I actually really don't. Okay. Okay, we have to build a steam hub. This is a bit silly. We need somewhere for sick people to go. this banging music. <laughs> at the gathering posts uh, working. They don't really need to be, but they are. I always want to just close them all um, so that everybody's just sent home. I think I'm going to do that with the 
enemies. Look at these guys. You know what? Yeah. Ooh. And none of your heaters need to be. Need to be working. You ha need no workers. No workers needed. So these two houses of prayer are attending to almost all of the people who are sick. There is one person somewhere who is freezing. Where are you? Preparing for a hunt? Are you ridiculous right now? Why are you being so silly? You can't hunt in this. Okay. It's gonna drop to a hundred no. Oh gods. Okay. That's the part that's probably going to kill people. Because I have overdrive and everything um, before we get to that point. So, right now, we are at max range. We are at max steam level. Um, I'm going to leave it for the next temperature drop. I'm not going to touch it. And then the one right after, I'm going to consider doing overdrive. Okay, you know what? Why, why are people freezing? None of you should be freezing right now. Absolutely none of you should be freezing right now. You are all at home. No one is allowed to freeze. Man, I hate the sounds that's making because that is scary. There's another mission with a defective generator um, that traumatizes me. Uh, okay. Nope. Off. Nope. Off. You're full. Off. If only I could select all of them and just be like, absolutely no one is hunting. is freezing. Working. Unable to work. Where are you working? Faith keepers. Oh, okay. Sure. engineers. Um, we're gonna do another thing right here, just so that we can reopen this safely. Yeah, the only people who are freezing right now are the faith keepers. Um, okay. Speaking of, none closed off Actually, I'm going to put you on here and on. I'll turn this off. Uh, off, off. On, on. So that we still have some coal production through the storm. Uh, so none. None. I think... 
think we will be able to just sort of um, here, you know what? We're going to turn this off, off, put an automaton on here, or wait. There isn't one that does both piles, is there? No? Okay, that's fine. click on the temple. We don't have anything we can do with the temple. We're going to do a procession. So the only people who are actually employed right now are the faith keepers the people working in the prayer houses, the houses of healing rather, and the researchers. That's it. Oh, and factory doesn't need to be doing anything. Thank you. Yeah. So everybody's job is to literally sit at home and do nothing. We'll turn these on. I know our coal consumption is nuts right now. But this is why I make so much in the beginning. It doesn't actually tell you to stockpile coal, but it's a damn good idea. Okay, so these are very cold. So once the gathering post installation is researched, I might just be like, okay, GG, quit, go home, do what you need to do. We're gonna save everybody. There was a dude who went out for his daughter, and he never came back. And that's sad. It is minus a hundred. There's going to be a point where these will just, there will, it will be impossible to keep them warm enough to help anybody. But we're not there yet. Actually, you know what? Once this research is done, um, I think I'm going to do the heaters, the last step on the heating advanced heaters and then I'll close them here we go just so that we have that extra bit of heat because it, it is going to get colder again in the morning. It'll be minus 110. Um, yeah, and people are sick. We have all the generator upgrades we can get. We didn't get bypass! Oh, fuck. Okay. I thought we got bypass. Okay. I need y'all to work late. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're gonna stay till 8, right? Okay. 
23 hours left? Oh no. Oh no. I need people to work. Because this. We can't maintain this. Okay. I'm sorry, everybody. That will greatly, um, greatly, um, that should hopefully keep us going. Okay. I thought I got the bypass. That's gonna be a problem when it hits minus 150. Like, I think it's going to. Yeah. on this. We're gonna put you on there. We're gonna take that off, put workers on this. And then we're gonna put you on here. I know, people are getting sick. We really don't have a choice. Okay. Where is the thing? There we go. Get some hope back. Uh, you know what? Resources. <laughs> Man. It's so bad. Where do I even put anything anymore? Uh, sure. We have two things on Steelworks. Um, you know what? You can stay on there for a minute. to get the bypass today. Because we're going to need it. We're going to need it real bad. We're going to need it so bad. More cold. So now people are in danger of freezing. It is cold. It is fucking cold. It's going to be minus 150 for two days. Okay, so there was one that I put the heater on, yes. Okay, you know what? I'm sorry, it's going to be cold. It's just going to be cold. It's going to be cold. And there's not much I can do about it. I'm sorry. You... Can be that. And then you on resources, gathering posts. Tech. Nope. Tech. Come on. I keep misclicking. Tech. The game's kind of lagged out right now.
Oh my god, I can't afford to be turned in on heaters right now. We got 13, 14 hours left. Okay, I do want this on. Because I want an, another automaton. Let's do it. I know it's cold. Two people are freezing. Two. <laughs> needs to be on during work hours. Max. There we go. So it's a little cold at the gathering posts. They have the best insulation that they can have right now. Um, yeah, I know people are getting gravely ill. Um, we need our consumption to be lower than our production, which is really hard right now. Resources. You know what I, I should research? Severe frostbite case. Okay. How's that automaton coming? I should research the steam one because it adds another. No, that's not going to help actually. Oh, that's another coal thumper. Well. Wow. Okay. What will actually help? Heater efficiency would certainly help. go there. Are these still on late hours? Okay. There. Okay, so each of these can do 20 patients. So 60, and then I believe I have four of these, so I should be able to, or three or four, so I should be able to accommodate all patients. Okay, I still need... Build an automaton as soon as you are able. Build another gathering post right here. Where's the... It doesn't cover that. Of course it doesn't. Why would it? Is this still running? That's still getting trees. Okay. That's okay. Gathering post. it just doesn't acknowledge my clicks because there's too much going on. There's a lot of, like, graphical stuff on the screen right now. There. Seventeen hours left my ass. Let's, let's just not...
I don't know if that's going to be enough. This will build an automaton as soon as we have enough steel, um, which we might not. Uh, 75 steel. Because I never got the upgrade that reduced it by another 30. Okay, well, you know what? Extended shifts for everybody? Is that how we're gonna do this? Though. Oh, we're closing in on it though. Look at that. Look at that. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. We're totally- we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I know people are gonna be upset with me, but we're gonna be fine. Everybody, have some food. It's okay. Don't worry about a thing. We're gonna be great. I'm gonna take uh, one of these off and put it on here because that's the building that has like almost no insulation so I don't want people working at it I want the automatons working at it uh, and then once this automaton eventually gets uh, enough materials to build I'll just put that right back on the steelworks a lot of people are hurt a lot of people are hurting um, Food, health, and shelter. I never got infirmary stuff. Here comes another hit on the temperature. get our coal situation under control. Okay, yeah. So those are very cold. Um, these are all about to be very cold. These are about to be uninhabitable. But as soon as we're done that research, I'm just gonna close them and send them home. Like, I'm not gonna fuck around with that. And as soon as this automaton's made, the same story. There it goes. Heater efficiency. Okay. Cool. Closed. Go home. Goodbye. Closed. Go home. Goodbye. Close. by You. Off. Okay. It's alive. Darkness before dawn. One of our engineers has come crashing through the door, white face, demanding to see you. I run the calculations with the new data. The storm will pass in a couple of days, but the temperature just before the end will drop drastically. Nothing can protect us from such cold. Panic is starting to spread and people are losing all scope. We have to stay strong. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. It sucks right now, but we're gonna be okay. Please believe we are going to be okay. Okay. 
Is this one... Are these ones... No, they're not working late hours. And then where's their heat thing? Is it this one? Okay. Okay. don't care. I don't care how disorganized my town has become. It was so nice before, but now it's just not. <laughs> oh, heck, that one's gonna have to be 24 hours then. How are we doing for coal consumption? We are ahead! Good, okay. We're ahead of it. That is dire, because we're gonna have to run the generator on overdrive. I'm gonna do it for a little bit. Just so the people aren't freezing. Boom. Um, but then we're going to have to stop it a few hours before, let it rest, and then... Heck, you know what? I don't know if that's going to be enough. Yeah, because... Did you guys build another automaton? You haven't started. At this house of healing, refuse to... You know what? You have to work. Because you are healers. Are you kidding me right now? Look at how many people are sick. Okay. It's like, no, you of all people have to work. We're still ahead of it, even though we're in overdrive. That's making everything chilly. I love the music in this game. Especially when it gets tense. <laughs> I don't think we can... You know what? I think we have to save it. I think we have to save it. There's no, there's no choice. There's no choice in the matter. Out of steel because we just built another automaton. And this is gonna have to be 24 hours. Heating. Yeah, that would be nice. We'll take care of 20 more people. Yeah, we're gonna let the generator calm down. Uh, it sucks how many people are super cold right now. Very cold. High risk of falling ill, low risk of becoming gravely ill. No one's died yet in this storm. Not a single person has died. You want to see how many people have died? Three. Over the whole game.
wonder, if I was able to actually stockpile the 1400 wood that they wanted beforehand, um, would it allow them to, their houses to be safer? So the people that are freezing are the ones definitely working at the gathering posts. They're not the ones at home. Although they are getting sick. Those ones are getting sick. Yes, the temple. Uh, I can't do any sermons or anything right now. Um, but we, no, we can't even do, uh, faith keepers. We can do nothing! We can do nothing to allay their concerns. Uh, we just have to wait. We just have to hold out and wait. Hi, baby. Man, those scary, those scary noises from the generator. It looks like it's almost three days of that deep, deep cold. It might just be two, because it kind of fades at the end. Um, and then it'll put when the storm was actually going to end um, on the thing once we pass this checkpoint. My back hurts all of a sudden, like real bad. Okay. It's because I've been sitting here almost six hours stressing out over Frostpunk, hunched forward and really engaged. Um, okay. Yeah, lots of people are getting real sick now. Uh, this will destroy resources. Well, I don't really have a lot of places I can put it, so. <coughs> I almost want to take apart some of the, uh... I could actually, like, almost do that. We might just have to hold out, so. This is the part where people are gonna start dying. than this. <laughs> so long as our consumption is ahead, or our production is ahead of consumption on the coal, we're okay. Wouldn't it be amazing if absolutely everybody survived? Yeah, I know people are freezing. Okay. I need you... I need you to... I need you to calm down, and I need you to work, and focus. We'll do a procession thing. Um, there, we have another automaton, so that one can go back on the mine. If I had enough, I only have five more steam cars. If I had enough, I would have one on every gathering post. you to build another one? 
Yes, I did. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, lots of people are freezing, I know. It's a bad combination of, you know, the weather and needing that resource to keep this going. Because if we don't have heat for the, from the generator, that's it, just everybody dies. Yeah! Awesome! Then they got lost and had to wait for a lull in the blizzard. How did you manage to get back when it's minus 120 degrees Celsius? Like, how the fuck? We're out of steel because we just built another automaton. Okay. Okay, we're getting more amputations, which sucks. And I'm sorry. I'm going to do triage. One quarter of patients will die instantly. No, I'm not going to do triage. Heal them. Fuckers. <laughs> um, okay, so the dude found his daughter. Good news. Good news, good news. Nora's like... <laughs> you see her? <laughs> We're almost through. We're almost through. A lot of people are sick and injured. But we are almost through. Okay. I'm gonna start that early. Because I think that that will help a lot of this stuff um, start to calm down a little bit. Because we do have quite a few people who are sick uh, at the gathering post. No, you gotta work. I'm sorry. You gotta work. I would let everyone stay home if I had the automatons to, to afford it. There's one more. Okay. Uh, so now, where am I to put that one? Okay. I need to pause for a second. Wait. Why is that one using heat? And the factory is using heat. And this one's using heat. Okay. Uh, so, I'm gonna send it up here, nope, because if I get a second one on the other one, then I can turn this off, and that will save a little bit of coal, and then maybe the other ones don't have to work as hard. Maybe. We're still well ahead of our coal production, okay. This sawmill, it's almost out of trees.
it's gonna lower discontent. Look at how cold it is. It's so fucking cold. <laughs> Work ceases. Most of our people have abandoned their workplaces to stay home with their families. Only the medical facilities are still functioning. The city holds its breath, waiting for whatever the end will bring. We have to stay strong. Okay. So, yeah, that just nuked all of my production. Thanks for nothing. So, off. On. There it is. There's no one here. On. Where is the flame thing? Not that one, it's this one. Off. Oh no, on. Not you. This. Turn that off. Okay. Yeah, we're in overdrive mode. Y'all want to run home. We're going to turn everything off that we don't absolutely need. medical facilities. Okay, people are still working in medical facilities. And there's one down here, isn't there? Did I already turn this one off? I can't see it. I can't see it! There's too much stuff in the way. There's a... Yeah, he's refueling on it. Okay. These don't need to be on. What is this? Oh, that's the, uh, that house. Okay. 622 people are freezing. Honey. Please tell me we are almost through. Please tell me. Is there anything else? That one needs to stay on. <gasps> oh, look at that. Look at that. We did it. We fucking did it. What? Demon stuff this get? Carnivore, because I only had hunting uh, houses. Nora, we did it. We did it. We have survived. Nobody died! <laughs> Come here. Nobody died! Nobody died! Nobody died in the storm! Nobody died! Okay. We started as a small society. Some refugees. 80 people. No food old habits <laughs> I'm gonna cry <sighs> first we decided to tighten our belts thin suit became our main meal unfortunately and every day was a struggle so we adapted. Houses of Healing 
evening prayers, faith keepers maintained unity, masses of sick. Yet, I think we haven't crossed the line. We sure fucking didn't. Faith gave us strength, we survived. Six hundred and eighty nine people. And that's the stream. <laughs> that's it. It's over. That was two hours longer than I had scheduled, but that's the whole thing. <sighs> okay. Come here. Come here. Come here, you. Come here, you. Hi. Bring me a toy. Bring me a toy. Where's your toy? There it is. There it is. Oh, bring it here. Bring it here. Well, why'd you throw it in the garbage? Nora. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yeah, we did it. We did it! We did it! We did it! We saved everybody! We saved everybody! Ah. We did it! We did it! Okay. <laughs> I'm relieved. I want to cry. I... If, okay. Alright. Let's find someone to raid. Let's find someone to raid. Uh, I do have a raid command. Please copy that in for the chat. And I'm going to find somebody to raid. And tell them, you know what? Instead of that, just tell them we survived. And we thrived. If I could type it right. So do that one instead, actually. Are you serious? Mike? <laughs> It was so dope. What are you doing? Uh, so we're going to do, who are we going to raid? Jeff's on, Glizzy's on, uh, cup of noodle. I have a lot of people that I follow from my circles and from previous raids, but I don't actually like look in on them much to actually know who they are. Um, I think I'm just going to raid Jeff. Do you want to raid Jeff? Let's raid Jeff. Okay. Okay, are we ready? We're going to raid Jeff. If I spelled his name right, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. This was really fun for me. Um, yeah. And stressful. Very stressful. My heart was going at the end. Um, but we are done. We beat it handily. So I'm very proud of myself right now. Okay. Uh, enjoy Jeff's channel. He's awesome. And uh, he's playing Zelda Ocarina of Ocarina? Ocarina. One of those two words is how it's, one of those two ways is how it's pronounced. He's a cool guy. You should follow him. Okay. Peace.